welcome to this video this is day 7 already day 1 to 6 is cover up the mathematical methods part of the iit jam examination for the physics okay so in this video we want to solve the year 2014 physics iit jam of the mathematical methods part if you do not see the previous lecture you get the description notes and go to the link and see the previous lectures also okay in this uh, this is the question form uh, format of the iit jam examination for physics and this is the uh, instruction for this question and this is the syllabus of mathematical methods part and this is all about me this is the my contact details so the first question of the uh, of today is that <laughs> say that the for uh, for vector a vector equal to this b vector equal to this and c vector equal to this the uh, vector product is so we need to find out the vector product okay so a cross b cross c so at first we find b cross c uh, no 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 i uh, the dot product is very easier to than cross product that's why i use this formula a cross b cross c is nothing but back cap that's mean b a dot c minus c a dot b so we need to find out a dot c and a dot b so what is the value of a dot c you can see the a and c if you dot a and c you get j cross j is 1 and k cross k is my uh, 1 so this is 0 and what is the value of a dot b if you dot product a and b i j, j dot j is 1 that is 3 k dot k is 1 that is minus 5 this is minus Two. so in this area this is first time is 0 minus c vector 2 this is nothing but minus 2 c vector uh, is uh, uh, minus this is minus 2 this is minus 2 so this is plus so this is the same direction as c vector so option number a is the correct answer of this question this is the same direction of the c vector this option number a is the correct answer of this question go to the next question the value of this r to the power n sin n theta for r equal to 0.5 theta okay so for this question you need to find out uh, know, know the uh, complex number you know the complex number the, any complex number z uh, can be uh, written as r e to the power i theta and this is nothing but r e to the power i theta means sin theta plus i cos theta right sorry 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 cos theta plus i sin theta cos theta plus i sin theta so uh, if this uh, if we expand this this is r to the power 0 is 1 in uh, sin 0 is 0 so for n equal to 0 this will be 0 so for n equal to 1 r sin theta n equal to 2 r square sin 2 theta uh, n3 r q sin 3 theta and so on so this uh, so if r equal to this so r z square what is the value of z square z square is nothing but r square e to the power i 2 theta and r square e to the power i 2 theta means cos theta plus i sin theta whole square and you know de Morgan by de Morgan's theorem this can be written as cos 2 theta plus i sin 2 theta okay so we can say this is the imaginary part imaginary part of z okay this is the imaginary part of imaginary part of z square and this is the imaginary part of z q and so on this is the infinite series so we can write this summation this summation this summation r to the power n sin n theta can be written as imaginary part imaginary part imaginary part of of summation z to the power n where n is 1 to infinity and this is nothing but z plus z square plus z q and so on and this is the infinite gp series and the formula of the infinite gp series is a by 1 minus r okay and if we put the value z is r uh, cos theta plus i sin theta by 1 minus r cos theta plus i sin theta 
and put the value of r and theta r is half 0.5 means half cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by 3 okay and in the denominator this is r is 1 by 2 cos pi by 3 plus i sin pi by 3 okay so this is if we multiply 2 so cos pi by 3 is nothing but the half and sin pi by 3 is root 3 by 2 and 1 minus half cos pi by 3 half and sin pi by 3 root 3 by 2 just simplify this expression you got the expression like that i into 1 by root 2 so what is the value of i 1 by root 3 do this uh, uh, simplification if you there is a problem you comment then i will be take uh, to take uh, solve this expression okay and uh, so the value of this is nothing but the imaginary part so imaginary part is 1 by root 3 so answer will be 1 by root 3 of this question so answer option number a is the correct answer of this question okay uh, all need to solve this expression from that to there i know you can do this easily very easy go to the next question if uh, if the surface integral of this a vector over the closed surface of the arbitrary unit sphere is to be zero the closed surface integral will be zero then what is the relation between alpha beta and gamma so the closed integral be zero that's mean the close a dot ds this is zero by gauss divergence theorem you know divergence of a divergence of a dv must be zero so you can say the volume is zero so you can say divergence of a is equals to zero and divergence means i cap del del x plus j cap del del y plus k cap del del z dot a means a means this is the vector 2 alpha x i cap plus beta y j cap minus 3 gamma j k cap this is will be 0 so if we dot this i i 1 del del s of this if we derivative partial derivative with respect to x we get 2 alpha if we partial derivative this by this y we get beta we partial derivative of this with respect to z then get minus 3 gamma this will be 0 if we divided this expression by um, 6 6 6 6 6 then this is alpha by 3 this is beta by 6 and this is gamma by 2 this will be 0 so option number b is the correct answer of this question option number b is the correct answer of this question go to the next question the integral the the integral uh, about this vector r r equal to this and take this square uh, and this is the uh, okay so what is the value of the integral is l the value of integral l is so what is the value of l l is the nothing but the integration a dot dl okay and you know by stokes theorem this is the curl of a this is the curl of a dot ds this is the control integral and this is the surface integral so you need to find out the curl of a what is the value of curl of a this is i cap this is j cap this is k cap del del x del del y del del z a means a means if you get the minus y by r square r square mean x square plus y square and j cap is x by r square that is x square plus y square and z component is zero okay so if we get i cap this is a zero this is zero so i cap zero uh, in case of j cap this derivative zero this derivative zero so only we get k cap we only k cap uh, del del x of this uh, i want to write one line del del x of x by x square plus y square minus of minus this is plus del del y of y by x square plus y square so what is the partial value of this partial derivative this is nothing if we uh, partial derivative of, with respect to x this is 1 by x square plus y square minus x into 2x by x square plus y square whole square 
simply partial relativity this is 1 by plus 1 by x square plus y square and this is minus y into 2y x square plus y square whole square okay so if you take the common from these two part and cancel out a 1 x square plus y square and finally you got this will be 0 okay this will be 0 so this uh, integral since this integral is 0 so this is the independent and independent and the value will be 0 so option number c is the correct answer of this question do this summation you got this this answer will be 0 okay if there is any problem to solving this you must comment on the description box on the below and this is the next question find out the solution of differential equation with the boundary condition given the all step clearly okay so we know the auxiliary equation of this equation is m square plus 5m equals to 0 so we take m as common so this is m plus 5 equals to 0 so either m is 0 or m is minus 5 so the solution of this equation is nothing but a e to the power m1 x which is 0 into x plus b e to the power m2 x which is minus 5 into x so this is nothing but a plus b e to the power minus 5x this is the value of y so to solve this uh, a and b we have a boundary condition uh, so we need to find out dy dx what is the value of dy dx this is nothing but minus 5 b e to the power minus 5x now uh, put the uh, boundary condition where it is the y 0 is 0 that means at x equal to 0 y is 2 that is in this equation we got 2 is a plus b e to the power x to the power 0 which is 1 so a plus b is 2 this is equation 1 and second one is dy dx at x equal to 0 is 2 so if we put this value so 2 is nothing but minus 5 b e to the power 0 which is 1 so b is nothing but minus 2 by 5 if b is 2 by 5 so a is nothing but 2 minus b which is 2 plus 2 by 5 which is nothing but which is nothing but 12 by 5 so we got the value of a and b so answer of a uh, y is a is 12 by 5 plus b is minus 2 by 5 so this is minus 2 by 5 e to the power minus 5x this is the answer of this question oh no so we need to find out the value of x where y equal to 0 if we put the y equals to 0 if we put y equals to 0 0 is 12 minus 2 e to the power minus 5x okay okay mm, so i need to clear in this portion in this portion a is we got a is 12 by 5 okay so e to the power this so we can say 2 e to the power minus 5 x equal to this 6 so e to the power minus 5 x equal to 6 so 5 x equals to ln 1 by 6 so x equals to nothing but 1 by 5 ln 1 by 6 that means minus ln 6 by 5 this is the answer of x and the value of this ln <coughs> minus uh, minus uh, a, a ln ln 6 by ln 6 by 5 is nothing but 0 0.358 so answer of this question will be answer of this question will be um, minus answer of this question will be minus 0 0.358 okay this is the answer of this question 0 0.538 okay thank you uh, please subscribe this channel if you are new in this channel and if already subscribe this channel then thank you and press the bell icon to get the next video notification uh, take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you